This time we're diving deep into the heart of the Garden State, New Jersey. We are going on a journey to uncover some of the most fascinating and forgotten places in the state. We're talking ghost towns, abandoned villages, places frozen in time. This is about history, about uncovering the stories etched into the walls of these forgotten places. So if you're ready for an adventure, buckle up, hit that subscribe button, because we're about to take you on a journey you won't forget. All right, first up on our weird NJ road trip is Batstow Village. This place is like stepping back in time, straight into the 1800s. Back in the day, Batstow was a powerhouse. We're talking ironworks, glass making, the whole nine yards. The Batstow Mansion is the crown jewel of this place. This massive 30-room mansion was home to the Richards family, the bigwigs who ran the whole operation. You walk through those rooms and you can almost hear the echoes of the past. The village had everything. A general store, a sawmill, a post office. Walking through these forgotten streets, you can picture the hustle and bustle of daily life. The iron industry declined, and slowly but surely, Batstow transformed into the quiet, almost eerie ghost town we see today. Over the years, there have been countless stories of strange occurrences, unexplained noises, and even full-on ghost sightings. Whether it's the weight of history or something more, well, I'll let you be the judge of that. Next stop on our weird NJ adventure, we're hitting up Waterloo Village. This place is a time capsule of 19th century life. Imagine a town where time has literally stood still. Waterloo Village was a bustling hub back in the day, thanks to its prime location on the Morris Canal. This canal was a lifeline connecting the Delaware River all the way to the Hudson. Goods and people flowed through Waterloo, making it a vital link in the region's economy. And the cool thing is, much of that history is still visible today. We're talking about the perfectly preserved grist mill, where they ground grain back in the day. The blacksmith shop, where you can practically hear the clang of the hammer against metal. Walking through these buildings, it's like taking a journey back to a simpler time. We got to chat with some local historians and park rangers who shared stories about the canal's heyday. They have these amazing reenactments and demonstrations that really bring history to life. You can witness firsthand how they operated the grist mill, watch blacksmiths work their magic, and even experience what it was like to travel by canal boat. All right, guys, buckle up because our next stop is Feltville, also known as the Deserted Village. Feltville has a history that's as fascinating as it is eerie. It all started back in the 1840s when a dude named David Felt decided to build a mill town here. He envisioned a thriving community, and for a while, Feltville was just that. The mill was booming, houses were built, families moved in, the whole deal. But as fate would have it, Feltville's prosperity was short-lived, the mill faced financial struggles, and eventually, the whole operation went belly up. Families were forced to pack up and leave, leaving behind a ghost town of empty houses and shattered dreams. Over the years, there were attempts to revive Feltville. It was briefly a summer resort, a farming community, but nothing seemed to stick. Today, Feltville stands as a haunting reminder of a bygone era. The remaining buildings, many in various states of disrepair, whisper tales of the past. Amidst the beauty and tranquility, there's an undeniable eeriness that hangs over Feltville. Many say the spirits of former residents still linger, their presence felt in the rustling leaves and the creaking floorboards. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, there's no denying the strange and captivating aura that surrounds Feltville. Get ready to journey back in time as we explore Raritan Landing, a place that was once a bustling port town, a gateway to the new world. Today, it's hard to imagine this quiet spot on the Raritan River as a hub of commerce and activity. But trust me, it was the place to be back in the day. We're talking the 17th and 18th centuries, when ships laden with goods from all over the world would dock here. But what makes Raritan Landing even more intriguing is what lies beneath the surface. Archaeological digs have uncovered a treasure trove of artifacts, revealing the everyday lives of the people who once called this place home. We're talking about foundations of homes, remnants of wharves and warehouses, fragments of pottery, tools, and even children's toys. These artifacts paint a vivid picture of a thriving community, a melting pot of cultures and aspirations. So while Raritan Landing may seem unassuming at first glance, beneath the surface lies a captivating story waiting to be told. 
All right, guys, get ready to enter the realm of the strange, the mysterious, the downright bizarre as we venture into the Pine Barrens in search of Ong's hat. This isn't your average ghost town. This is a place shrouded in folklore, conspiracy theories, and more than a few whispers of the Jersey Devil. Now, for those who haven't heard the tales, Ong's hat is like the Bermuda Triangle of New Jersey. Legend has it that this tiny Pinelands hamlet is home to a portal, a gateway to other dimensions. It's a story that's been passed down for generations, fueled by strange occurrences, unexplained lights, and the eerie silence that hangs heavy in the air. Some say Ong's Hat was a secret government research facility, experimenting with interdimensional travel and other mind-bending stuff. Others believe it's a haven for artists and free spirits, creating their own reality amidst the pines. We ventured deep into the Pine Barrens, determined to uncover the truth behind the legend, Along the way, we talk to locals, folks who have lived on the edge of the pines their whole lives. Whether you believe the hype or not, there's no denying the sense of mystery that permeates Ong's hat. Our next stop takes us to Walpack Township, a place frozen in time, a ghost town with a story as heartbreaking as it is fascinating. Imagine a town on the brink of being wiped off the map, its fate hanging in the balance. That was Walpack's reality back in the 1960s. The government had this grand plan to build a dam on the Delaware River, a project that would have flooded the entire valley, submerging Walpack beneath millions of gallons of water. The Tox Island Dam project, as it was known, sparked controversy from the get-go. Locals fought tooth and nail to save their homes, their heritage, their very way of life. But despite their best efforts, the project moved forward. Families were forced to relocate, their homes and businesses demolished, their history seemingly erased. But then, something unexpected happened. The project hit a snag, funding dried up, and eventually the whole thing was scrapped. Walpack Township, once a vibrant community, was reduced to a smattering of abandoned buildings, a ghost town frozen in time. Last but not least, we're wrapping up our weird NJ adventure in Millbrook Village, a place that's like stepping back in time. This isn't your average ghost town, it's a meticulously recreated 19th century village, a living, breathing testament to New Jersey's rural past. Imagine a town where blacksmiths still ply their trade, where the air hums with the rhythm of the grist mill, where life moves at a slower, more deliberate pace. That's Millbrook Village in a nutshell. As we wander through the village, we're greeted by the sights, sounds, and even smells of the past. The scent of wood smoke wafts from the blacksmith's forge, the rhythmic clang of the hammer a symphony of craftsmanship. Inside the general store, shelves are stocked with period goods, from penny candies to hand-forged tools. We had the chance to chat with park rangers and volunteers, folks who are passionate about preserving Millbrook's history. They shared stories about the village's past, the families who lived and worked here, the traditions that shaped their lives. Millbrook Village offers a glimpse into a bygone era, a reminder of the simple pleasures and enduring spirit of the past. So there you have it guys, our whirlwind tour of New Jersey's most fascinating and forgotten places. From abandoned villages to eerie ghost towns, we've uncovered the hidden stories that make this state so unique. Exploring these forgotten corners of New Jersey has been an eye-opening experience. It's a reminder that history is everywhere, even in the most unexpected places. If you look closely enough, you can find traces of the past whispering to you, urging you to listen, to remember, to learn from those who came before us. So next time you're thinking about New Jersey, forget the stereotypes, the jokes, the cliches. Remember the stories, the history, the weirdness that makes this state so special.